Hello everyone, the Ractus here, and welcome to part 45 of Pokemon Black. In the last episode, we got to this route, and we we're battling some trainers and stuff, and gonna finish off this route and then go fight the gym leader. So recently, I uh, I got the new 3DS XL, and my God, the 3D is so so much better. Like I I can actually play with 3D on. And that's more than I can say for the uh, old 3DS, the old 3DS and the old 3DS XL. I never, excuse me, yeah, I never actually played with 3D on with the old 3DSs, but the new one I actually play with it on all the time. It's so nice. It's the, I've only really been playing two games, which is Smash Bros. and Bravely Default. Smash Bros. I've been going through and unlocking all the characters again because you know. I did the system transfer then it's too lazy to unscrew the back and like take the memory card and shit so I just did the system transfer and I don't mind I, that's kind of like the favorite part about Smash Bros is unlocking the characters is kind of well that in play with friends and I'm gonna switch out uh yeah and s damn <laughs> I probably should have healed but it's been a long ass time since I recorded last, like... Huh, I can't even remember the last time I recorded. I had to take a little break because, you know... It was kind of, it's, Ooh, that was kind of new. Like, Let's Play it was kind of starting to feel more like a job or a chore kind of thing that I had to do. So I wanted to take a break from it. Just so, like... It doesn't get too chore-ish, you know, or too like a job. Because I, I do this for a hobby, nothing more, nothing less. It's completely hobby, nothing noth has no other influences. Yo, I probably battled everyone here, so I'll go back to the gym. But yeah, like, I'm not doing this for views, I'm not doing this for money, I'm doing it because I like playing video games and talking, so what better to do than to do Let's Plays, you know? Oh, and the reason I got the new 3DS XL is because uh, my old 3DS XL, the circle pad, broke, and I was like, well, I was thinking about getting it in it, so I was like, fuck it, I'll get it. Also, um, I'm kind of torn because two games come out March 30th. Both of them I kind of want, which is, um, Codename Steam for the 3DS and Fossil Fighters? I can't remember, it's some subtitle for the 3DS as well. Uh, Codename Steam I wasn't really that excited for until I played the demo that I was like, holy shit, this game is really fun. <laughs> like, I'm like, I want to get it, but then there's also this Fossil Fighters game for the 3DS, which, you know, doesn't have a demo, but it looks really cool. Like, you go around digging up fossils and fighting dinosaurs, and then you also uh, can go with friends digging up fossils and team up and fight dinosaurs. It looks pretty, pretty fun, I must say. Also, uh, this music is so, so relaxing. Just want to see what level everyone is. Everyone's 46, okay. Oh, let's actually go with Lucario. Oh, um, I, I have to go on a bit of a rant here. Because, you know, in the last episode, I kind of said that, oh, hey, I got these from Amazon Germany, which, God, I did that a long time ago. Well, I can't actually get them. Do you know why? You know, people are like, Oh, Amazon Germany, that's like the best place to go to import Amiibos. You know what? You can only import them from Amazon Germany to the fucking States. That is right. That is bullshit. Like, you can, you can use Amazon US and, and... Like, if you live in the US, you can use any Amazon ever. If you live in Canada, you're fucked. You can only use Amazon of Canada. Which is the... Stupidest thing ever. Why are the states so much more lucky? Like, they can use any other fucking one, but we, we can't. What are you, some racist against Canadians? They're like, oh, fuck you, you were, you worship maple leaves, you love, uh, you love the maple syrup, which, who the hell doesn't? You were like, A, it's a boot, time to go ride me polar bear to 
my school. I don't know, freaking know. It's just why Amazon. So yeah, I can't. I didn't get Shulk or Pit Amiibos, which it's the pits I know. <laughs> uh, pun. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, and I don't think I'll ever be able to get them now, cause like super, super expensive. And then like, no, there's no way in hell I'll ever find any of them. Cause I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure I talked about it before, but the guy at Torch was like, it's the original Wii all over again. Like they're lined up for two hours just to get Lucario and they had like 22 of them and they're gone so quickly. No, I'm not getting Lucario, I'm not getting Shulk, I'm not getting Pit, but I've learned my lesson and I'll learn to pre-order Amiibo, so as soon as Wave 4 of Amiibo turn out to get pre-orders, I'm going out there pre-ordering Lucina. And then after Lucina, it's just Robin Olimar and that's all who I actually give a shit about. I don't care about the Super Mario Brothers line of Amiibos. I don't care about any other Amiibos. Unless they make Pikmin Amiibos, I probably won't buy any more Amiibos. Except for, I heard a rumor, I don't know if it's true, that they were making uh, Amiibos for all the Mario Party characters in Mario Party 10. If that's true, I'd have to get Spike, because, you know, it's fucking Spike. Look him, if you don't know who Spike is, look him up. He's like this. Actually, no, I'll just, I'll just flash a picture of him on screen right now. Boom! He's on screen. Okay, see him? Okay, he's gone. He's just so adorable and cute looking, and he's just so, so cool. He just, like, barks up spike balls in the game and then throws them out at you. Oh, Mukari, right, Mukari gang up. Whoopsie daisy, still have him out. Yeah, I'll probably pre order Spike's Amiibo as well. But then after that, unless they make Pikmin Live of Amiibos, I'll probably not get any, because, you know. Rest! Rest! There's no time for resting. Wake up, you. Oh, I just knocked over something. <laughs> There's no time to rest, you fat, lazy sack of shit. We're in the middle of battle, you fucking walrus. Think you can go to sleep? Well, guess again. I'm gonna kill you, because you doubled my attack. Well, no, it won't kill him. It'll do more damage. Oh, it will kill him. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, that's your fault for using swagger on me. Yay, I beat him! Yay! Now let's switch Lucario out. Just because I want everyone to be around the same level... Mandibuzz. Mandibuzz can hold her own weight in this gym. Oh, shit. Did I mess it up by going there? Maybe not, maybe, maybe I hit the other lily pad over this way. That that would be good if I did. Yes, I... Was this the other lily pad that was there? I think it was. Yes, yo, girl, battle now. Yeah. When I win and every time, blah, 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 blah. Yes. I truly agree, yes. I honestly agree, yes. Yes. Huh. I'm gonna use my Pokeball. I thought it said Piplup at first. I was like, what? You're not using a freaking Piplup here, but now it's Pelipper. Like, after I did it right, I was like, Piplup? No, that's not right. Primplup? Oh, that's much better. You've all form. That's just so creepy and cool sounding and clenched. I can use nasty plots. I just realized both my special attacking moves rate or have a possibility of flinching the, the target, which is. Stockpile. Stockpile? That ain't cool, but yeah, which is pretty cool. Of course, fly, you can't really. It has no side effects. It sucks overall. Well, this power is decent. And you can fly around. And he flinched again, so let's just kill him off. I love Dark Pulse in this game. You know, if I wasn't using Mana Buzz, I'd probably be using a Zoroark, which. They're pretty freaking cool. I must say, like, Zorark and their. God, this. Zorark, I don't think I've ever actually used one, but they just look so cool. They're probably one of my favorite looking Pokemon. And because you can't really use them in, um. Black and White 1 unless you have a special event or hack. Uh. That's probably why I never use them, because I play Black and White 1 a little hell of a lot more, because. You know, it 
except I find Black and White 1 to be superior to Black and White 2. Like Mario Galaxy 1 is better than Mario Galaxy 2. Get over it. I'm not. I don't know. Yeah, I find Mario Galaxy 1 to be far superior here to 2. Just the whole atmosphere of that game and the music's better and like the level design in my opinion is better and like the levels are more memorable and the music's more memorable and yeah that's personally why I find Mario Galaxy 1 to be better than Mario Galaxy 2 but you know everyone prefers different galaxies like I really enjoy the Milky Way galaxy it's a great galaxy because I live here and I'm sure there's other very fine galaxies out there that other people will enjoy immensely or whatever the freaking word would be for that. I don't know, I don't even know if people know what I'm talking about anymore. Just there's lots of galaxies out there that there's probably lots of fun places to live, but I really like here. And I'd love to go to an unknown galaxy and explore there and like discover. Oh, he changed my type of like Aren't I dark? Don't I? And am I not immune to psychic moves? But now I changed it to water. But uh, I'd love to go discover unknown species and like see what cool uh, creatures exist on other planets. And obviously I couldn't bring any over because they become invasive species and kill off all the species on Earth. Yeah. And maybe our climate would be completely off for all living creatures or something would be off and they would just die as soon as they step foot here. And then they'd also bring diseases that uh, just isn't naturally here. You know, uh, maybe I don't want to go to an unknown planet full of unknown stuff and my physical attacks will a lot better. I didn't realize that. Star me, star me, I'll just kill you with dot. Not Pokemon. Yeah, Starmie Water Psychic type. Really, really good. I highly recommend using them there. They learn so many moves and they're just so good except for this one died in one hit. Never mind, he's dead. He is a dead Starmie. Or maybe she, I wasn't paying attention. It is dead. Uh, was I supposed to do that? Oh, oh, shoot, I did not battle you yet. To be as clear as water, that is the style I seek. To be clear as crystals, isn't crystal more clear? Because, you know, you always hear people say crystal clear, but never uh, water clear, I guess. This guy wasn't clear enough. Yeah, crystal clear is, like, more clear than water clear. Because water clear is, like, for people who aren't clear enough as crystals, because crystals, crystals are clear, like, you see right through that shit, they're so clear, but water, you know, can be murky, you can't really see the bottom, they're not that clear, so, I guess he wasn't as clear as he thought he would be, or maybe I'm just rambling on about nothing, I just realized I've read the text wrong, maybe not, I don't know, he wasn't, uh, crystal clear, he was only water clear with what he was saying, therefore, yes, Therefore, yes. Therefore, yes. I have nothing to say. Uh, Amanda Buzz. Please. Please kill him. Please. Oh, he was... Wow, Basculin, you are a dick. Go, Golduck. You can take him out. Go get him, Golduck. Zen Headbutt, you'll kill him and he'll just flail around beside you like a stupid little fishy. I always hate the taste of seafood. I know, I live on an island and I hate the taste of seafood. It's kind of funny. <sighs> just fish in general just make me, like, sick. So, yeah. Basculin, I could probably kill you too with one Zen headbutt, but this will not be the last and the first of these very powerful Pokemon. Uh, da, 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 oh, he survived, and yes, Basculin sucks ass. 
And yet, my water type is getting, like, destroyed by Basket. I'm just gonna let Golduck die. Golduck, you are a brave and noble duck. Too bad you got fucked over in the end. Alright. Uh, yeah, why not? I'll go for extreme speed. Hopefully it will kill it. Oh yeah, and Intimidate will lower its attack. So I guarantee you I can survive one attack. From this thing. Extreme speed hopefully kills it. I doubt it. I doubt it. Yeah. So great. You huh. Okay. Okay, you turned me into a water type. Why the hell you did that, it will be beyond me, since now water moves aren't super effective on me, so you screwed yourself over, sir. He has a. God damn it. I thought that was lost, I thought this might be a shorter episode, I was hoping for that. But no, it has to be over 16 minutes long. Long a dong a dong a. Okay, screw it, I'm switching out. I don't care about experience anymore. I care about ending this episode, like, eh, as soon as possible. Not bag, not bag, you peg. Let's go with Sawsbuck. Sawsbuck. Sawsbuck, I can always rely on him to get the job done when it comes to kicking ass for water types. Which, yes, Azumarill, 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 Azurarill. Whatever, however you pronounce this name, is in fact a pure water type in this game. It turns fa into fairy type next generation, but I won't worry about that at all because chances are I won't be able to ever do a 6 gen game because they're on 3DS and unless I want to put over 400 almost $500 for a capture device for a 3DS, I won't be, record I won't be doing any 3DS games at all. <laughs> So yeah. Ooh, yeah, shut up, bitch. When I see you, blah, blah, blah. thank you so much for watching today's episode of Pokemon Black. Last episode, and the and next episode will be the gym. See you guys then. Bye.